The murder count upped another notch, inching closer to 60 as gun violence claims another life here in the capital. But as Cleombatro Murphy tells us, police say they are following significant leads into the matter. A grieving sister brought nearly to her knees Wednesday morning after her brother, a man police say was known to them, became the country's latest murder victim. Crime scene taped marked the scene while what appeared to be a single bullet hole pierced the rear glass of the vehicle parked in the lot of a business establishment at the intersection of Blue Hill Road and Blackstone Close. It was around 7 a.m. when our department was notified that a male was found inside a white parcel with gunshot injuries. Our officers responded and on arrival confirmed the same. I can say that the individual is currently on bail for murder and he's also being our and he was also being electronically monitored for that offense. Police press liaison officer Chief Superintendent Chrislyn Skippings could not say how long the deceased had been on bail, but confirmed he was in his mid twenties and that rigor mortis had already set in. The murder comes days after two men, also in their early 20s, being electronically monitored for serious crimes, were found shot to death in a vehicle on Sunset Drive off Sealing Drive Thursday night, not far away from where Wednesday's deceased met his demise. As for a possible connection... Well, officers, detectives are going to take a look at both incidents and see if there's any relationship between the two. And again, if we do find that there is a relationship between the two, we will come back to you and we'll let you know. The latest homicide is sparking concern among residents who say the level of violence in the country is becoming too much of a norm. I just feel like it's a gang war going on right now. Like, oh, people learn how to resolve stuff and just learn how to love. The police are violence and destruction. And every day I wake up, I see someone dead or someone getting shot. So it's just like something like normal to happen. As for the crime concern, Skippings insists police remain resolute in their commitment to tackling crime, but that there is a collective responsibility. As responsible family members of these individuals who are granted bail and on EMD, you ought to ensure that they are compliant with their conditions of bail. When you do that, you make your best contribution in the fight against crime. It's a collective, it's a collective effort. Everyone has to play a part. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.